hopefully the voter will uh, take time to educate themselves. The ballots have been in the paper. They're on Facebook. They're on our website. Just take some time to read, educate, ask some questions. Just really trying to get people to go to the website to take the time to look, check their registration, make sure everything's correct. They don't need to update their names, their address. Find out the precinct code, precinct name, where they need to vote, and choose how they want to vote in that, that span of time. I hope they turn out and vote early because that seems to be something that everyone has really enjoyed uh, since 20 and so I'm really glad that our legislators added that so we have the no excuse early voting, the three days, uh, November 3rd, 4th, and 5th. I want them to take the time to, to read it in advance so that they are prepared uh, on election day. It will save them time if they're in a hurry. Um, I just think being prepared to know and read and exactly what's gonna be on your ballot is the best bet for any voter. I just encourage everybody to get out to vote. It is one of your most important things you can do. It gives you a voice. Um, the elections are safe, fair. Just vote. I mean, it, whatever's best for you, but everybody needs to vote. Your vote is your voice. I can't imagine any greater privilege than going to vote on November the 8th and voting for who I want to vote for, no matter what anybody says. It's my freedom, and, and I just want to honor those individuals that fought for that freedom. We are as transparent as humanly possible just to let people know that it is fair and honest elections, but most importantly, just get out and vote.